So when I think about what's going to be possible in the future, what are we trying to measure? Can we measure every transmission of power to every device uh, on that utility grid? For agriculture, can we measure every seed in every plot of land on every field in the world? In the life sciences, could we measure the behavior of every cell in every living organism on the planet to create new kinds of diagnostics to identify a disease earlier? Can we measure every star in the universe? Do we have systems which will be able to contain that amount of data and allow us to ask questions over that amount of data? That's really the kind of software we're building at Cloudera. It's not just about performing complex analysis, it's about allowing you to see larger and larger populations of entities. I was uh, trying to build an open source project that would crawl and index the entire web. Uh, sort of an open source version of what Google and Microsoft Bing do today. Uh, and we were trying to build that, and we realized you couldn't do it on just one computer. Uh, it, it took more time to download the entire internet, more time to process it than you could do on a single computer. So we knew we needed to have it be distributed across many machines. And around that time, Google published a paper talking about how they were doing this. And we right away saw the, the, the light um, and uh, went about re-implementing uh, what we'd done so far on top of the methods that Google described. So that was the real genesis uh, of Hadoop. So there are a few uh, principles underlying Hadoop. Uh, first is that uh, it runs on industry standard hardware, not exotic hardware. Uh, but at a much more cost-effective level. Uh, another one is that you can scale it linearly. Uh, if you have twice as much data, you should be able to just buy twice the hardware. If you want things to run twice as fast, you should be able to buy twice the hardware. Uh, and it's just very, very much a um, more, more problem, throw more hardware at it, uh, and it, it keeps getting easier. Um, and as hardware gets cheaper, uh, that's, that's not really much of a problem. So a, uh, another core principle for Hadoop is this notion that you don't move the data. You don't move the data from storage to a computing engine, but rather you put your, com your computing engines right next to the data. You try to, very, as, much as, you as much as possible, leave the data where it is and process it locally. So you send the computation out to where the data lives uh, and let it process there, and then you collect the results in uh, at the end. Um, Another element is, uh, that's, that's uh, similar is that you load the data in as raw a form as possible. You, we call the schema on read. Uh, you, don't, you don't project it into a form that presupposes the analysis you want to do on it in, in the end. Instead, you load it in a raw form and you permit a wide variety of analyses uh, and you don't throw away any information in the process. we need you as customers to do is to expect more of us and to dream bigger about what you can do with our software inside of your infrastructure. And this is a message that we're trying to tell directly to our customers. It's not going to resonate with our competitors because they don't want you to believe this. But we believe it, we've made it a reality, is that you should expect more from analytical data management infrastructure from your Apache Hadoop vendor. And we need you to consider that the status quo is not something that's good for you in the long term you're paying far too much and getting far too little. So our goal is to take the same economics that we brought to batch processing of unstructured data and do that again for interactive SQL query processing, to do that again for interactive search. And we've got a lot more coming. Center of gravity in data processing is shifting now. It used to be a relational database world uh, where companies put their data in their relational database. Now we're really seeing things move towards a Hadoop-centric world, where instead of using exotic hardware, they're using commodity hardware. Instead of moving data back and forth between the processor and storage, they move the computation out to, to next to the data. Uh, it's a whole ensemble of 
changes that are being made and Hadoop is at the middle of this new world of processing. So by consolidating diverse workloads such as data preparation, archival data storage, special purpose analytics, interactive SQL queries, and now full text search, Clutter is moving the center of gravity of your analytical data management infrastructure away from the enterprise data warehouse and towards our software. If you started over today, would you put all your data into a relational database running proprietary software on exotic hardware? Of course you wouldn't. You'd put it in Hadoop. Hadoop has become the center of gravity of the data center.